Hey trainers, Caden here. Today I'm going to be doing a deck profile of the winning list of Igor Costa's Buzzwall Lycanroc with Octillery. So, something that's different about this list and very unique is three baby Buzzwalls. The attack is just super good and if you can get a Beast Ring on it and maybe a Strong or Beast Ring and Choice Band and Diancy, the numbers on Swing Around and Sledgehammer can both be super good. And then you also have the two buzz walls. You can use it for early game or late game with Knuckle Impact to help take the last two prizes and then use the baby buzz wall for the uh, other prizes. Or you can use buzz wall for the first two, the other buzz wall for the middle, and then the second buzz wall for the last ones. So. These two are just different. That's what really makes the deck different from any other is this right here. The three baby buzz walls. This is probably going to be the new meta. Most people are not going to put three buzz walls in their deck because it was very successful at Madison Regionals. Then one Diancy, as usual, to help hit for 20 more damage for all the fighting Pokemon. And then he knocked down, instead of the 3-2... Rock Ruff Lycan Rock, he went with the 2 1, which is a little weird. And I think that kind of helps the Zor Garb because that's really what demolishes Zor Garb, the Lycan Rock. If they can get that out, then it's a struggle for the Zor Garb player. And I think it's a cool change, but you can only use it once, which is a little probably sad. And, I mean, I think I would like a, another one just for that second Rock Ruff. Because if that second Rock Ruff gets knocked out and then this one gets knocked out, then you don't have a, another one. And if you prize one Lycan Rock, then that's just not going to help you. That Rock Ruff, that one spot on the bench isn't going to help you. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, then one Tapalele, pretty usual. Then the 2 2 artillery line to help get draw. And then he's running a 3 3 max elixir beast ring instead of like a 2 4. He's really trying to go for the beast ring when they have three or four prizes and uh, get it with artillery, Cynthia, and Sigmore, whatever you can get to do, uh, get those beast rings. And then. In our list, we also had a 3-3 three, three line. Even though most people would probably have the 2-4, we thought that the 3-3 three, three line works the best, and it works really well as he got first place with it. One super odd to help get back the energies and any of your Pokemon. Four Ultra Balls, standard to get any of your Pokemon. Three Brooklet Hills for early game setup to get all your stuff. Two Cynthia's for shuffle draw. Four ends to help, or four Guzmas to help in the game uh, super quick. And if you ever get something stuck in the active and you don't have a float stone, get them out. Two ends is kind of if, maybe if you're in a mirror match and you're having a slower start, you can end them and hopefully they don't have an artillery. It's also more shuffle draw and it's very good. Uh, four ends. The, it's a very aggressive deck, so it's all it's running four sycamores to help discard all your cards and get new ones. Three choice bands to help hit better numbers with the deck with your Pokemon. And then three float stones for the Octillery's, Tapalele, Diancy. If any of those get stuck in the active, you can just attach one and retreat. Or Guzma. Both work very good. Then a Four strong energies, that's pretty usual in this deck. Then one beast ring to help for the, I think, in the early game. For <coughs> Sorry. Jet punch and sledgehammer to just do a, a lot of damage with beast ring. Then you can use knuckle impact for 190 with just the beast energy. And then nine energies for the max elixirs and help get... Uh, even a swing around on baby buzzwall or sledgehammer just for one and if you just put a fighting energy on buzzwall then you're able to sledgehammer 
for 120 times 2 on Zorx, which is a knockout, just for one fighting energy. And that's super good. That sometimes the turning port turning point and the buzz wall versus uh Zorg decks. And I think that with three it's gonna be even easier. Especially especially with the three and then Diancy, Beast Energy, Choice Man, it's gonna knock out pretty much anything. And if they can't deal with that then they're staying at four prizes, and you're still hitting them with a lot with Sledgehammer. So, this is Igor Costa's winning list that he used at Madison Regionals. And I'm going to do one game for you. Alright, looks like bleeding board reset. And now I'm going to have to find it. It's not that one. Right here. Of course, named it New Meta because most people are probably going to have to add in the three buzz balls and stuff. So, looks like we're against Psychic, Electric, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm going to go heads and I lose that. Hmm. So I will be starting with the rock rough. At least we get a mulligan, so okay, Vika Bolt. Okay. Vika Bolt Blue. Yes. Okay, that's good. Sigmar. And if he doesn't hit heads here, oh, that's a little interesting to see order pad, but I guess it may work for him. All right, I'm gonna. I'm going to attach the focus stone right there, and then I'm going to ultra ball away those two. I'm going to grab, alright, Lycan Rock's in there, 2-2 two, two line, just one tap of Lele, one Buzzwall's prized. Okay, I'm going to grab Buzzwall and start doing some early pressure jet punch. Down baby buzz. Hmm. I didn't get a choice band or Diancy. But it's okay. So, now like him rock, bring up the Grevin, because if he can't get down a Vikable, then <clears throat> stuff's just going to go downhill for him. And, an Ultra Ball, Floatstone, and a Fighting. I'm going to go for Diancy, and if I can get a strong. And that will be a knockout on the Grubbin. Nope. 
gonna start powering up Buzzwool. Don't remember raid. Then jet punch and do damage there. Not getting a good look on those ordering pads. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so there's the beast ring. So. 60. I'm gonna, <coughs> I'm gonna put up buzz wall. And then I'm going to use Jet Punch to get the knockout on the Grubbin. And then that sets up for the Baby Buzzwall to come in with the Choice Band to get a knockout. Jeez, finally broke the hill. Sorry about that. I don't think he understands that I'm recording. I'm gonna put down Brooklyn Hill and play it. Grab the rumor read. Beast Brain. Should make that buff. <coughs> now he doesn't have any any energy on the board.
Ultra ball, any of those two, and grab the artillery and then melee. I'm gonna check for Guzma. Yep, got Guzma. I'm gonna Guzma up that grubbin. Touch there. Okay. <clears throat> I think I prized two of my energies. Okay, that right there. I'm gonna end him just because I know he has rare candy Vika Bolt. I guess that was a good time to hit both tails. Something that I'm already knocking out from any heads. <sighs> Since I have the buzz mode powered up, I'm gonna go for the lichen rock power up for the dangerous rogue. Five cards. He still finds that the rare candy fight bolt.
That works for him. Hmm. I mean, once he takes a knockout, then I can use Danger Throws or Knuckle Impact. I have two options. Wonder what he could be needing out of those six cards. Can I just be strained to discard it? So then it's not a dead card. And Hope for the Guzma. Nope. Sentia. Alright, there's Guzma for next turn. There's he doesn't have a way to deal with just a buzzball and a lightning rock and another baby buzzball. Then I'm just gonna goose mob that buzzle because I think I'd be short somehow. Maybe. Just, I'm going for the for sure. Yep, that's victory. So, that was Igor Costa's winning list that he got first place at Madison Regionals. And I hope you liked this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. And till next time, be excellent to each other. I'm partying on dudes.